What up, Sea of Red? You're listening to Into the Flames, a Calgary Flames fan podcast. Your home for all things Flames and updates around the NHL. With your hosts, Raja Burry and Noah Eppleston. Into the Flames. New episodes every Sunday. I just finished up off the ice, so uh, it's been a good day so far. Awesome. Hey guys, today we're with newly signed Flames forward and 2022 Stanley Cup champion Nazem Kadri. How are you doing today, Naz? I'm good, fellas. How are you doing? We're doing well. Doing much better now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good to hear. Take us through your day with the Cup and how that was and what that meant to you. Oh, uh, well, it was great. It was great, man. Just being able to uh, bring it out and share it, share it with my community. And, you know, obviously these are people that have stuck by my side uh, since since my early years and have kind of seen uh, the development of my, my entire career. So, um, you know, just bringing it to the mosque also was, was special. I think, uh, you know, that's uh, something that's important to me. And just, you know, seeing all the, the friendly faces and all the kids just come on out. And, you know, I'm sure it's uh, – not going to be a day that they're they're going to forget and, and neither will I so um, anytime you can be the first uh, to accomplish something it's certainly a, an honor and a privilege and you know I'm just uh, fortunate that I got the opportunity to uh, to do that awesome sweet and in terms of I guess continuing the talk with the community could you describe for us your foundation the Nazem Kadri Foundation and what you address within it for the people in Calgary and for the fan base who might not know about what your foundation is all about yeah, yeah. So uh, we kind of dip our toes in everything, just try to help out as much as uh, as much as possible. So there's been several different beneficiaries, and uh, you know, a lot to a lot to do with mental health and, and focusing on that. But you know, food banks, women's shelters, um, you know, the list goes on. So uh, thankfully, we've been able to um, uh, contribute quite a bit, and you know, it's it's been going on for about eight years now, and. In those eight years, I think we've, uh, you know, raised uh, close to two million bucks. So, uh, you know, it's been pretty successful, and I'm just, you know, very thankful. There's, you know, a lot of sponsors involved, and uh, a lot of other people that have, you know, helped me kind of bring this to fruition. For the people of Calgary, is there any way that uh, we would be able to help out your foundation? Uh, like, what could we do to help? Um, I mean, just just head to the the, the website nazimkadrifoundation.com and just. Uh, you know, put in your personal donations, I suppose, everything, uh, you know, it's a hundred percent nonprofit. It, uh, you know, all, all the money gets just distributed, uh, you know, equally between, like I said, different beneficiaries. So, you know, any, any dollar helps. And, uh, you know, I think we've, we've made a uh, pretty, pretty, uh, significant impact so far. No, for sure. Right on. Uh, I just want to transition over to hockey a little bit, um, for the Calgary fans and the people of Calgary that don't quite know you or know your game. Uh, what are you looking to bring to the Calgary Flames this year? Um, just, you know, a little bit of everything, I think, is, uh, you know, obviously I, I enjoy playing on the offensive side of the rink, but still can take care of my own end. And, um, you know, I take pride in uh, playing a, a complete game and trying to round my game out as much as possible with, you know, a little, a little feistiness, I guess you can say. So, um, you know, I always look forward to those competitive games and, and being a competitive team, which, uh, I'm looking forward to being in Calgary. No, absolutely. And that was something that Flames fans were worried about a little bit after Kachuk left was the feisty side. We needed that that guy that would uh, riot, get under the skin of the other team. And we couldn't be happier hearing that you signed here. So, Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. I think, <laughs> uh, you know, I think every team needs it, right? It's, uh, you know, kind of that never quit attitude. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, I'm just I'm looking forward to just giving what, what I can. Right on. Um, and like, what was it that brought you to Calgary? Was there any connections you had in the locker room or like what really drew you to Calgary? Oh, well, yeah, I, I know a couple of the guys and, uh, you know, I've, I've, uh, had some, you know, extended family live in the city before and, you know, always, uh, have had great things to say, uh, obviously love the direction of the team and just, uh, the, the new additions. And I think it's kind of a, just a revamped look and a refreshed look. And I think, you know, that can be, uh, you know, exciting to, to players that have been there. Just, you know, kind of that uh, just different uh, different outlook of the team uh, from, from top to bottom. So, you know, I feel I feel good about what the players we have on paper. And, um, you know, like I said, just looking forward to getting there and kind of just, uh, 
you know, getting situated. Absolutely. And wh when do you expect to be in Calgary? Um, projecting for, for around the second week of September. So I just, like I said, I just got to get a few, uh, you know, dot my I's and cross my T's and just kind of, uh, get my living situation figured out and I'm on my way. For sure. Right on. Awesome. We're a little biased in counting the battle of Alberta as the best rivalry in hockey. Uh, so how do you feel now about more than likely being a major part? Uh, it's exciting for sure. I mean, I've always, uh, you know, appreciated these type of rivalries and, you know, obviously, uh, playing in Ontario for several, several years, I kind of, you know, understand the dynamic of, of a matchup like this. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's always, I feel like brings the best out of you and, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, I always like the new rivalries and just coming to new teams and seeing, uh, you know, who they hate the most. So I think, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be hard for me to hop on board and, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm ready to go. Oh, absolutely. And we couldn't be more excited to watch. <laughs> uh, Nazem, did you have any like big inspirations that really got you into hockey and got you where, like where you are today in the NHL? Um, of, of course. I mean, just, you know, family and, uh, and, and friends have always inspired me and motivated me. And, um, just, you know, looking back and watching hockey games and just falling in love with, uh, with the game in general, I think it really, really drew me and just the competitive nature is, is always something I've, uh, you know, I've respected and appreciated just being a, you know, ultra competitive guy. I just, uh, you know, I, I just, I like sports in general. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of people along the way, uh, way, way too many to sit here and go through right now, but you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative for every single one of them. Right on. This is going to be a little bit of a fun question. And I'm pretty sure that no one's asked you this during the last two weeks with you doing the media rounds and whatnot, but what's your go-to pregame hype up song or current artists that are in your rotation right now? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I, I was, I always appreciate fresh questions because I feel like I've been answering a lot of the same ones over the last <laughs> couple yeah, of weeks. So no, no, yeah. no offense, no offense, no. but, uh, no, man, I definitely, uh, you know, I'm a big, uh, big hip hop guy, you know, Drake, Kanye, um, you know, J Cole guys like that. I, I really, uh, admire and just, uh, you know, can relate to their music a little bit. So obviously being a Toronto guy, I'm a, I'm a big, uh, big Drake fan. So, um, you know, if I'm DJing in the locker room, usually it's something along those lines. Right. Awesome. Right on. Um, we didn't want to keep you for too long, Nazem. Uh, but is there any good uh, story that you could leave us off with? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Just, uh, I mean, I, I, I want to keep them all G rated, but yeah, I think, just, <laughs> you know, just, just winning the Stanley cup in general, I think is, has been a uh, game changer for me and a life changer and just, you know, understanding everything that comes along with that and uh, being up in that upper echelon of, of champions, I think really means a lot to me. And, you know, once you get there, I think, uh, you know, it's the pinnacle of hockey. So it's, it's something that I feel like I can't settle for anything less for. I mean, obviously Absolutely. you can't win it every single year, but uh, you know, we're, we're certainly, I think uh, well on our way and hopefully we can, you know, we can do something fun next year. Definitely. And could you just talk a little bit about what that meant to the city of Denver um, and just seeing like the crowd's reaction and the city's reaction to what you guys did on the ice? Uh, well, it's nice because we, we got to take it out afterwards and just like, like I said, show it off a little bit and just, uh, you know, obviously the fans of Denver have been, have been great and they're electric in the playoffs in that building. And, um, you know, it's just nice to share it, share the experience because they've helped help support us. And, you know, Denver's really, uh, you know, morphed into a hockey community down there and just, uh, you know, they're, they're big hockey fans now. So like I said, it was, uh, it was really special and something I'll never forget. Well, again, we don't want to keep you too long. That's pretty much all we have for you, but um, thank you so much for doing this. this no worries. Anytime. Absolutely unreal. The I, dome is absolutely going to love you, Nazem. I can't wait. I can't wait. Easily. We're waiting for the team store to have just open up the pre-order. <laughs> like that's where that's we're right. At. That's right. Get, get your 91s, man. I want to see. Yeah, really. <laughs> absolutely. 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 Awesome. No. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. This right. is awesome. Anytime guys. Thank you. We'll see you down there. Right. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. So that was Nazem Padre, newly signed James Center. Unreal.
That's awesome. Unreal, man. If you guys like our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. We're starting to get NHLers. Yeah. Subscribe. You might want to subscribe. Just saying. And uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. Yeah. Thanks for listening, everybody.